एक्स्ट्रा टाइम मिष्टि कथा बेंगल टेस्ट ऑफ स्वीट्स all time uh bola let's talk to us about your effort today yeah tough day obviously a lot of overs in um tired legs but the guys stuck at it um i think as a bowling group we're satisfactory with what we've done this series so far so i think um kudos to the guys um happy for myself to be obviously be among some of the greats so it's a good achievement for me as well right a lot of runs on the board to get <laughs> what do you think you got to do yeah just but um this more than enough time two days left in the test match so just but so um nothing more to be said about that obviously the guys have had a good score in the test series so far so it's about guys just applying themselves and obviously going there and being positive and put some runs on the board what's the wicket like no as we speak yeah it's flat no a bit more um it's not as bouncy as it was in a couple of first couple of days but It's still enough there for the bowlers, so you still have to apply yourself as a batsman and obviously grind and get that score. But I think once you get in, it becomes way easier. So it's all about the guys just being positive and just grinding and obviously getting himself in and obviously getting a score. Kemar, uh, almost a hat trick. Talk about that over. What was it like the first we get and then almost getting the third one? Yeah, it's a good feeling. <laughs> obviously, the Indian batting lineup is very strong, so obviously to be on a hat trick against those guys is obviously a good feeling. So. Yeah, I'd like to get it, but a little more luck. Next time inside edge on the stumps and it'll go my way, but I'm pretty happy with what happened. How's the bowling here it's stepping up like how is it uh use of Shannon and uh Jason and how is it uh like expanding his bowling unit? Yeah, I think the the, the trick about it is uh, we stick we stick together a lot. Um we communicate very well so we know what we're about and what roles we have to play when it comes to certain sessions. So I think our clarity is very clear when it comes to bowling. Um So I think that's what's been working for us for the last 2 years. So I think once we can stick together, stay in a park, obviously we may fit. I think we have some big things coming for us in the next couple of test matches. When you began your career, you were the young man that could hurt Ricky Ponting, mm. right? Now you're the KG veteran. Um yeah. how is it that your bowling has transformed over the time? Yeah, it's just about developing yourself as a cricketer. Um obviously learn every day and just try to be positive. Uh just said focus on the job at hand and just keep working hard. that's my trick for the last couple of years coming back from injury so it's just about obviously sticking with my um what I know what I know I can do obviously and just keep it as simple and basic as possible and that's that's my trick for the last couple of years could you talk a bit about you know you and especially Jason working as a tandem um you know where sometimes he holds one of the partnerships um I think all teams try to do that um I think the Indians do it very well as well but I think with us we've been together for a while so we understand each other we understand when it's time for us to hold it's time for us to attack and you know give us give yourself a break and let someone else get involved but i think we've been doing it very well we, um we're very in sync and the communication helps and yeah we're very clear what we want to do the highest test score is here mm-hmm. is now season here but mm-hmm. um you're batting really well <laughs> this is um uh, any thoughts in, in terms of not to get a highest test score per se but to you know another set opportunity in the second innings how do you see it? Yeah, um obviously once the batsmen do the job obviously we so tire legs in the Indians they can obviously try to get a bigger score. But um yeah, I'm pretty confident in the bat recently. Um just back on my ability, trust my talent and just go out there and obviously hit the ball. Um I've been doing it pretty well and pretty proud of that. I just keep it simple for me. I know my shots so I just wait on the ball to come in that area. Can I uh, generally the old ballers were switching ends on and off like you ball from this end you ball from that. I mean what was the reason like? Um I just I just guess this is the skipper what he what he thinks on a day um at a moment i'm open to bowling any end uh, for sure down the slope from one end um uh... yeah there's obviously different dimensions when it comes to different ends but i think it is it, for me it, it doesn't really bother i just put the ball in the right areas um there's always a area in a pitch you want to bowl so once you get the ball in the right areas on any side of the pitch it doesn't matter so for me it's just being simple yeah you talk about tire legs and corn wall did a pretty good job of bowling so many levels and get a bag of wickets but what are your thoughts on him and his debut he, he looked like a like he belonged there oh definitely um Cornwall, i can't thought he bowled really well today um in the whole test match for sure um trying conditions against indian batsmen who are pretty good players to spin i thought he did a fantastic job holding one and creating some pressure and a lot of guys from the other end to get a wicket so i think yeah he looks like he belongs um i think he has a great future for the west indies and i hope he just stays in the park and obviously continue to 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 do great things for us 
Um, could you compare the bowling effect, not exactly the results, just the processes from the series against England and the series against India? Um, the yeah, I think yeah, the, the plans are st still the same plans. Um, as you said, I think India have, has one of the stronger lineups and batting lineups in the world, so obviously it's going to be a different challenge. But I think we stuck at our guns pretty well. I think Jace bore very well this test match. I think I mean, the second innings, I got some wickets. Um, I think the guys in the first test and the first innings, we really bore well together, Shannon, me and Shannon. So I think, yeah, the, the, the process is still there. It's just about obviously putting it together a little closer and obviously um, she's trying to limit batsmen a little bit more. But all in all, I'm very happy with how the guys, how the guys bore the series. Was there a moment you thought uh, you had the hat-trick? Of course, uh, yeah. Bought inside edge and missing the stumps is unlucky, but yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what happened. Yeah. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.